Hi, we're going to talk about gum disease today. And I have a picture of a tooth. These are the roots, and this is the crown of the tooth. And this is sort of the division between the roots and the crown of the tooth. Now, um, the roots are covered first by bone, and then the gum covers the bone. So I'm going to have a picture of, here's the bone that covers the tooth like this. And then this is the gum covers the bone. What happens is that there's a little space between the tooth and the gum here at the top uh, that we call well, a pocket. And generally it only goes down when it's healthy, one to two to three millimeters. But what happens with gum disease is that the bone starts to dissolve away, this part of the gum starts to recede back down like this. So when you put an instrument into measure, it will go down much further than one to two to three millimeters. It can go down to four, five, six, even more. And the, the higher the number, the more bone loss, the more gum disease that you have. And what makes this so serious is that gum disease is linked to stroke, diabetes, and heart disease. So we want to treat this infection. If it's left untreated, the bone will continue to dissolve away. The root uh, will be more exposed. The tooth will actually start to loosen up and it can actually fall out. So our goal when we do treatment is to prevent the bone from receding any further. We really can't bring the bone back, but we can at least stop this infection so the bone doesn't recede any further. Um, we've seen all different stages of gum disease, and one of the benefits of getting your teeth cleaned every six months is that if you start to develop gum disease, we can catch it in its very early stages so we can be treated very comfortably, non-surgically, and uh, we can get everything back to health.